excited to be bringing you guys to Almighty Trailers with me today in Alba, Florida. That's right, we're going to be picking up our trailer. A few months ago, I told Duper that it was pretty essential for me to have a trailer, even though I avoided buying one with my last boat competition boats. Um, I didn't have a trailer. If you guys have been on this channel for a while, you know I got a dock lift um, behind my condo there, so I do all my maintenance and detailing on the lift, and I don't got to pay you know, storage for a trailer. So that's the big thing with having a trailer now is I'm going to have to pay to store it somewhere. Um, especially if I'm not using the trailer, that's going to be an expense that, you know, kind of I'm going to have to deal with, just going to kind of have to eat. But it's going to make things way easier because we're going to be doing our Mercury maintenance at Preferred Marine over there in Pompano Beach. So instead of taking the intercoastal and having him pull us out you know i can just throw the boat on the trailer myself bring it to him we'll be in and out by lunch and good to go we can also do our details on the trailer it's a lot easier for our detail guys to do a really good job when they're on the trailer on land versus working around the water can't really reach all the spots and then just road trips right there are so many awesome places just in florida alone that we should be fishing more often um, i've always wanted to tow one of my personal boats over to Venice, Louisiana, as well as get on get on those tuna bites in the summer, especially when it's real calm. So I'm excited to have a trailer this time. I talked to Duper, he hooked me up with Almighty Trailers. So we're going over here now, we're gonna write them a check, we're gonna pick it up and bring it to Latitude Boats. But before we put my boat on there, we're gonna be putting Captain David's boat on there first because his boat is gonna be ready before mine. He doesn't really have a roadworthy trailer to bring it, you know, a couple hundred miles back to Fort Lauderdale. So we're going to do him that favor first, get his boat over there, and then uh, we'll bring the trailer back, get mine on there, and then eventually we'll get to rigging. So I'm excited here to take US 27 today. I haven't been on this road in a long, long time. It is a different set of scenery, a little bit more industrial so far, but uh beautiful out here everything's nice and green looks like they've had a lot of rain nice and sunny today so we're gonna take you guys over to almighty trailers right now and then we're gonna stop by the shop at latitude boats come with us today let's go Cables. It's for your emergency brake. Okay. Yeah, this makes it look really killer at night, man. Oh yeah. Beautiful trail. It makes it look really, really cool. We haven't been going with the LTV with the white light. I think you're maybe the I think you're maybe the first or second one that has not in it.
So before we pull into Latitude, I just wanna let you guys know that this is the first brand new trailer I've ever owned. And the amount of peace of mind that I'm feeling right now towing this, I mean, I feel like I can weave in and out of traffic, go 100 miles an hour, no problems. Whereas my previous trailers, even though I had one that was only you know a few years old i think it was maybe five years old or so i had an egret uh several years ago that had a pretty good trailer underneath it but before that i had all crap trailers uh, i mean axles breaking leaf springs messed up uh tires blowing you know hubcaps falling apart just every kind of problem you can imagine i think a lot of you guys can relate to trailer problems on the road so having a brand new trailer behind me right now, even though I know brand new things can can mess up as well, I just feel really at ease towing this thing around, and especially because I have no boat on there. All right, guys, so just got to the shop over here. Here's my boat right here. Here's Captain David's. David's is priority right now. It's kind of all hands on deck for this boat. They're working on the hatches. They're working, they finished the fiberglassing of the leaning post, his tackle station to the boat. Um, they installed the trim tabs. They're just working on a lot of things that David wanted customized. And then this, this boat's going to go onto that trailer that I just picked up, and we're going to take it back to Fort Lauderdale, in which David's going to move it to one of his trailers. He just didn't want to use one of his trailers because not exactly roadworthy for, you know, a 150-mile trip or even more than that. Um, so David's welcome to use my trailer. I'm not even using it for another week or so. But next week... I think it's going to be all hands on deck on my boat and they still have quite a bit to do on this thing um, but uh, you know all hands on deck every guy working on over here I think we can crank it out in a week or 10 days or something. So. Yeah. Guys can see Tim over there. Looking good. David's boat's looking badass. Yeah. I think mine looks a little better. All right, guys, so we secured our trailer there. It is at the shop. The guys are gonna move it inside and then place David's boat on top of it since David's is the next boat to leave. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. I didn't necessarily need to come here. Duper said he would have taken care of it for me. I just wanted to get over here and make sure uh, Almighty Trailers got paid. Um, just make sure there's, um, you know, no hiccups in the process that everything, you know, nobody's waiting on me for anything. So my next, little side project that I'm gonna be working on is we're working with a company called New Wire Marine in Charleston and they're building an acrylic panel for my electronics for my center console so I'm gonna have to come over here pretty soon get a template made uh, of the console then I'll send it up to the guys in uh, Charleston and we're gonna be working together to get a really nice finish of the electronics up there so 
that's all we got for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and stay tuned for our next episode. Tight lines. Donut. Oh, yeah. Thank you.